Patriots owner Robert Kraft is pleading not guilty to prostitution related charges. Authorities arrested Kraft as part of a months long investigation into sex trafficking that focused on spas and massage parlors in Florida. Prosecutors claim to have video of Kraft engaging in a sexual act. He faces two counts of soliciting someone to commit prostitution and will be arraigned March 27th. But what fines and punishments could he face? We're going to bring in our La Vegas Now expert, Eric Palacio. Eric, always good to have you with us. Um, prostitution is still a big issue, of course, in and around southern Nevada as well. It is. Uh, there's 300 to 400 arrests every month in Nevada. A lot of tourists think that prostitution is legal uh, mm -hmm. in Las Vegas. It is not. Right. It's legal in eight rural counties. Uh, Nevada is the only state in the union that still has a legal prostitution. But Las Vegas is not one of the counties. So so tourists need to be careful with and this. And even in those counties, there are stipulations, right? It, it has is. to be it, in certain places. It um, has to be in a licensed brothel, yes. So solicitation is the issue facing craft. What is solicitation? Why would someone face that? Well, it's asking for uh, sexual services in exchange uh, for money. In Nevada, it's a misdemeanor, which uh, means you can be, uh, if you're found guilty, go to jail up to uh, six months and a fine up to $1,000. If you are convicted again of the charge, uh, it can be uh, heightened and eventually it can be a felony, which is uh, a year or more in prison, and also higher fines. So it is a matter of asking someone rather than having them ask you to do something, right? If somebody asks and you say yes, then you can also be found uh, uh, guilty of uh, solicitation okay. because you are in the exchange. Okay. Uh, so that's the way that the police get you most of the time is they'll have a female officer pose as a prostitute, approach uh, the person and say, hey, do you want to do this? The person says yes, and then that's enough for them to charge you. Wow. So entrapment wouldn't be an issue in that case? It is only if you had no intent uh, to solicit. So uh, unless, uh, you know, you're you minding have, your own business. You not have to even prove close, that, yeah. that, that, you know, they pretty much begged you to say yes, so, okay. which is very difficult to prove. That is a defense, uh, but it's not the easiest thing to, to prove. Well, how common are these sting operations in Las Vegas? Uh, they're common. Uh, we, we see them uh, uh, often, and like I mentioned, it's either a female uh, officer posing uh, as a prostitute walking the streets, or sometimes they'll post ads, and then when a person uh, calls uh, one of these uh, women, they come over and or invite you to go to a hotel room, and then it's the sting operation there. So, Robert Kraft, what would someone like him possibly plea uh, in this case? Well, uh, generally what happens is plead not guilty and then see what kind of evidence they have against him. Uh, if he is convicted, uh, if it were in Nevada, normally the first time uh, you are fined, uh, community service, you generally don't go to jail. Uh, you do have to go to a health class, uh, but that's it on the first time. So in his position, uh, is, it, uh, is entrapment often the defense offered? Most times, that's what you would argue. It's one of the defenses, but like I said, it's not the easiest thing to prove. All right. It's a fascinating and sad case to follow, but uh, we'll continue to talk to you along the way. We'll see how it plays out. All right, Eric, always good to talk to you. You can get more information on anything law-related by calling Eric Palacios and Associates at that phone number, 702-444-7777, and you can visit Eric's website at ericpalaciolaw.com.